Hi guys, this is Mustafa from Gear Attack. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Heron's Boot CD run from your USB flash drive. I have a video that shows you how to do that, uh, how to make it run from a CD. And today's video is how to run it from a flash, um, USB flash drive. Um, the first thing we're going to have to do is um, download like four files, necessary files to make it run from your USB and the very first file is format USB format and um, which is which will be found on this link right here and by the way all the links that I'm gonna provide in this tutorial will be in the description so what we're gonna have to do right now is to download the USB format zip which will be found right here so by clicking on it you'll be prompt to save um, the file. The file is very small so I don't need to download it because I already have it. The second link which will be this one um, we have to down we have to download this file it's called grab for um, DOS and which will be found in this link. Once you get on this website you just scroll down all the way down and then you download the second file from the bottom which is grab for dots dot zero point four point four dot zip so you hit here and then you'll be prompt to save the file I don't need to download it because I already have it the second one is this one which is grab inst this is a very important file and as I said it'll be this link will be available for you in the description as well so all you have to do is paste type in and then save it I already have it and the most important file which is the Heron's boot CD package which is available on this link www.heronsbootcd.org slash download um, once you get on this website you'll be prompt with this page right here just scroll down and download the file from here you hit it and then you'll be prompt to download it so I'll cancel this one too all these files that I just showed you are saved on my desktop on this file and I will make use of them in just a moment so the first thing we have to do you have to have at least a USB flash drive that has a minimum of 1.5 gigabytes just for you know um, performance so the bigger the size the better performance you get so you plug in your USB flash drive I run this Windows 7 on a virtual machine so I am prompt to either connect it to my Mac or the Windows I'll choose Windows and we'll do our job in a few seconds I'll close that I'll go to my computer. I just want to show you the USB. It's right here. So I have two gigabytes and it only shows like 1.8. So first step, we go to USB format file. We open that one. You're going to have a file here. You either hit extract to your um, location, desktop or somewhere. I'm just going to drag it to my desktop. And the file is right here. You right click on it and run it as administrator. This is a very, very important step. Confirm. And then um, you hit this menu right here and then it's, it's going to show you which all the um, the USB flash memories that you have plugged into your computer in my case I only have one so I choose this one and then the um, the file system is FAT32 and you can give it a name I chose to give it HBCD underscore USB and the rest is up to you and then you hit start you confirm that you're gonna lose all the data you have in your memory and the process is going okay now that we have finished formatting our USB flash drive we hopefully you are prompt with this message right here just click OK close 
and we go to our folder where we downloaded the file that we need. So we're going to go to this grab for dos.0.4.4, open that, extract, browse, <clears throat> and you choose your USB. And then you hit OK, extract. The steps are kind of straightforward. They're not going to take that long. Um, recently, my virtual machine has been acting up, so it's kind of running slow. Normally, it shouldn't take this long. The only file that will take quite a time is the Harris Boot CD actual file, which is compressed to a zip file, and it has about 600 megabytes that we have to extract to the USB flash drive. Okay, now we go to grub ends dash one dot dot one and we open that extract all the files browse and we choose our USB flash drive we hit OK extract <clears throat> perfect now we go back to our last file, which is the Heron's Boot CD. As you can see, I have two files, and now I'm going to tell you why I have these two files. So we open the first file that you downloaded from heronsbootcd.org slash download. This is the file that you will be downloading. And the file has a lot of um, subfiles that we don't really need. And the only thing, unless you are burning, um, the Heron's Boot CD on the CD. If you are making a bootable Heron's Boot CD, then these files are necessary. If not, this is the only file we need, which has about 606 megabytes. So while the USB was being formatted, what I did, I just copied it from here and I pasted it here outside. So this is the only file we need by itself. And we Open it, extract to, and hopefully you'll see your USB right here. And we hit OK. This is going to take quite a time as well. So what I'm going to do right now is pause the video and come right back once the extraction is done. OK, now that all our files have been copied to the USB flash drive, what we have to do, close everything down. <clears throat> we go to our flash drive right here and you should end up with all these files feel free to pause the video and check your your flash drive and then we have to go to <coughs> excuse me we have to go to not here but we go to hbcd file and we copy these two files menu that list and GRLDR <clears throat> for some reason on my virtual machine I cannot select both files so I'll just copy one by one here's one copy it here paste it and then I'll go to my menu dot L I S T and copy it here, paste it here, I'm sorry. Now the last step, we go to grub inst underscore GUI, right click, run as administrator, we confirm, we hit fresh, and you choose your USB flash drive, mine is this one because it only has about almost gigab two gigabytes, so we hit that one, then we come to fresh, and we choose whole disk MBR and we hit install. If you're prompt with this window, that means you have done everything right. So we hit enter and just quit. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our experiment on a um, physical machine. Okay, now we're gonna test our project and see if we have the capability to boot our computer from the USB that we just worked on. So here we plug in 
the USB. We power on the computer. There we go. And I believe you press F12 to enter the setup. And then I'll choose USB storage. The one at the very top. And I hit enter. You can do that through the BIOS. If you go there and set up your BIOS to boot from the USB first. And if it doesn't find anything, then it can move on to the CD and then to the hard drive. But I wanted to use it manually just to avoid any confusion. So, as you can see, you choose the USB storage and you hit enter. There you go. Here's boot CD 15.2. Boot from hard drive. Now you can either choose any option you want. I'll probably just use the mini Windows XP. This is like a rescue tool. If your operating system breaks down and you can't boot up, what you can do is um, insert the Harris Boot CD and boot from the mini Windows XP and you will have a um, GUI interface like you're booting from your hard drive and you can do a lot of things like um, you know going into your hard drive and um, retrieving all the data that you want to save from there. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any question, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. Thank you.